What we send! My name is Bogdan, I'm a 20 something year old filmmaker and I travel a lot of my weeks end up being just spent on a plane. Eating, sleeping, drinking, all while sitting on my ass doing nothing. It's fairly impossible to stay healthy and fit while traveling. This has always been me. I've never had any trouble with weight, I've never felt unfit per se. Until a few months ago when a little bit of a beer belly was starting to show and I had chubby cheeks. People on YouTube were saying what's up with your face? One girl in particular was saying that. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna change this. My mate Luke put together this challenge for everyone, really. A starting body transformation where you dip all your excess fat, where you build a basic strength. So this is what that video is all about. You're gonna see a montage of my challenge transformation. The first structured workout I've done in my life. And it has genuine results. But anyway, watch the video. And if you have questions at the end, feel free to get in touch with Luke directly. I left his links below. Just had my first ever sesh. Luke, I'm not a very healthy person, all this traveling. I don't work out, I don't eat very well. So for the next weeks, Luke's gonna be training me. Gonna get this guy fit and strong, okay? We're gonna measure your body fat and do some uh, caliper fat testing. 22% body fat. So we're gonna get Bogdan down to 12%, which is gonna give him some nice six pack abs uh, in the next uh, sort of eight to 12 weeks. This would be my second session. I did a B training course, which is equally as hard as the first one, but the cardio bit at the end, that gets to you, man. I've been coming here for three weeks. I've been doing the basic strength, and now I'm gonna up to main strength. A bit more variety of exercise, and a bit more sweat. I'm waiting myself halfway through, not just waiting, but full on measuring. Not been doing well with food. Clearly. So I've lost 0.9%. Is that good? Is that bad? Um, could be. It looks not impressed. The beef is I keep traveling. Like next week, I'm going away for almost the entire week to Greece. It's my mate's 30th. But while I went away traveling, someone decided to start a 21 for 21 challenge. 21 push ups every day for 21 days. And of course, I misread the thing and I ended up doing 100 push-ups every day. I was a bit disappointed before I went to Greece with very little results. I've been very careful with how much and what I eat. It's more about working hard now and upping the weights each time and sticking to at least three sessions a week. Luke again. Yo guys, I've been involved in coach today. I haven't been coaching him much recently. Some of my other coaches been. So it's good to see him. He's really progressing in his strength, picking up bigger weights. Still a long way to go, and hopefully uh, the nutrition's on point and we can get those results. <laughs> So Luke did explosive push-ups today. I can do those too. Yeah, of course I can. I'm actually gonna try and do O21 explosive style as best as I can. Ten. You know how they say that gym pain is good pain because it comes with that sense of achievement? There is no such thing as good pain. Big day today, measurements. We started at 77 kilograms, we're on 76. Went down in body fat from 22% to 19.4. I'm feeling stronger, I'm looking slightly better. <sighs> this is not avian, I just got this from the tap. From here on, I keep working on getting my diet right, get all the fats down, do home workouts to burn the fat, from which I can start building lean muscle. Not just big muscle, but like lean, nice muscle. I don't want to be like this. I don't want to have to walk in sideways through doors. So, key elbows nice and tight. That's better. Good. A little bit deeper. With dips. These hurt in some random spot there. This is probably the hardest thing I've done. Seven in the morning. And your boy is being healthy AF. Like I woke up at seven. Oh, I'm back. 
I've been away for yet another two weeks, but I've been continuing the course. Did Luce set me up with? Six weeks training with you, two weeks on my own. This is, that was eight weeks you mentioned. Time for a new measurement. Uh, we're going to see what the body fat is now. It might be a bit elevated after work. Way, 13 oh. cents. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. That's what I wanted. That's the yes. one. Yeah? Now we can start this real transformation. Yeah, exactly. We're going to build you back up now, yeah? I'm getting strong. So this is the last week of the program that was adapted for me, for my body shape. It's a big moment because we're going to have official before and after pictures at the end of this week. Something new actually. This week I'm doing a sweat class that I have never done before. Overall a big celebration for me. And as a celebration I decided to buy a new car. Hi Luke. Tell us about the sweat class. This, new thing uh, this is uh, longer duration cardio intensity with some weights and a uh, load of stuff thrown in. Yeah. This is coming here. I'm really starting to get into the running business. Hello, tiny car. Yes, 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 yes. Checkpoint. The first floor we're going to do is um, shut off. This is it, players. Moment of truth. Last time we checked, we were on 74 kilos. But then when I told you to eat a little bit more to kind of start putting on a little bit more size, so I reckon you might have gone up a little bit of weight. Ooh! 10.7. That is lean, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see oh, it. Yeah. Wow, 11% body fat loss. That's a lot, man. In 10 weeks. Yeah. Give me five, man. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, legit proud of myself. Like, according to Luke, 10.7% fat, body fat, is genuinely lean. So, yes. And mind you, these are not 10 weeks of going to the actual gym. Out of these 10 weeks, I've been away for just over four and been doing 100 push ups every day while away, or been going to the tiny local gym there and the hotels. So, I think that was one key thing never stopping, like, don't interrupt the workout. And you know what? It was not all that difficult. That's what I can appreciate at the end of it all. I just got home right now, but I'll come in tomorrow after, if you're in. Yeah, no worries, that'd be cool, yeah. I'm recording the goodbye. You wanna say something to the people? Just in the middle of um, packing, unpacking equipment and then my head is in this space. I'll catch you in a bit, man. Take care, mate, bye. Bye. That was Luke at his new gym that's opening up. Huge thanks, Luke, for taking me on and doing this transformation and for keeping me on. I'm curious how I can progress over the next year or so. Whew, I'm beat. If you're gonna do one of these transformations or join long term with a goal in mind, you need to have serious motivation. Much like my wall behind me. I created it to have continuous inspiration for making videos. And I needed the same thing after the first two weeks when all of a sudden and I had this strength that I could do more with. So you're gonna like this though, you're gonna like my motivation. Basically me and my girlfriend Katie, we can ski, like I dare say, like pros. One big difference between us, I can ski for two days continuously fast, but after them two days, I'm dead, done, and I need a day off. Katie, however, she can ski for 10 days without even breaking a sweat. Like she's been into fitness for over six years. So my serious motivation for completing this and getting into shape was purely to out-ski Katie this winter. <laughs>
On a serious note though, hope you've enjoyed this video. Gym stuff, fitness is a first for me. I mainly do travel. But if you would like to see more of these videos, then you can let me know either in the comments section or you can simply press subscribe and then the little notification bell right next to it to make sure you get updates of next time I upload something. Woo! That was all from me folks. Hope you've enjoyed this and I'm gonna catch you on the next video. Later!